my next class is in about an hour and in the meantime let us discuss geometric mean different from arithmetic mean and to start let's have fun with wikipedia so wikipedia has a wonderful explanation of geometric mean geometrically so here the two lengths that we want to find geometric mean of actually these two are made the diameter of a circle these two lengths are made the diameter of a circle and then a semicircle is drawn with that as diameter the place where the semicircle touches this line is the geometric mean so arithmetically understood as say this is a this length that whole bit here is b this is b this is a so the geometric mean that we find can be through this will be fun yeah is square root of ab that bit c here yeah and we will talk about this using geometric sequences so in a geometric sequence <coughs> you have a number multiplied by a common ratio say we'll start with say 10 yeah and then you multiply this with 2 it becomes 20 multiply 2 it becomes 40 and so on so this is a geometric sequence Let's focus on geometric. The idea with three numbers, let's just say the first three for here, yeah, is that 20 is equal to square root of 40 times 10. So 20 is the geometric mean of 10 and 40. Now, if we had <coughs> any two numbers and we want to find a number between these two numbers say we have two numbers yeah any, any two numbers 100 and 500 we want to find a number between these two numbers that is in geometric sequence with the other two numbers so See this number is C, we do C is equal to square root of 100 times 500, which is not a friendly number, let's change these numbers, let's say 400, yeah, 400 and the number would be 200, right, two zeros, two zeros, come out as 2, square root of 4, 2, so, 100, 200, 400 are in geometric progression where this 200 is the geometric mean of 100 and 400. Unlike, of course, arithmetic mean where we have a number between two numbers that is just a normal mean, yeah, 10 and say 50. So the arithmetic mean between 10 and 50, 50 plus 10 divided by 2, yeah. So these numbers are in an arithmetic sequence where a constant number plus 20 plus 20 is added but that's not what we were focusing on we were focusing on a number multiplied so instead of adding we want to think what would be the geometric mean between 10 and 50 so we do square root of 10 times 50 it's an unfriendly number but square root of 500 
should be something like maybe 22 something like that yeah just figure it out 22 times 22 4 4 4 4 4 84 22.1 ish yeah something like that so there is a number which when multiplied to 10 gives this and the same number which when multiplied to this gives this let's figure out what that number is exactly yeah so could be root 500 which is square root of this 10 times 50 which can be simplified into 5 times 100 which is 10 root 5 which is something like 22.1 but the point I'm trying to get at the bit I'm trying to get at not arithmetic mean geometric mean what I'm trying to get at is this number here 10 times 10 root 5 gives this number here and this number here which is this times 10 root 5 gives this number here let's figure that out yeah 10 times 10 is 100 root 5 times root 5 is 5 something is wrong yeah what did I do wrong? Let's see. Root 5, 2, 2, 2, 500, 10 root 5, 10 root 5. Ten root, ah, the multiplier is not 10 root 5, but there is a constant multiplier. Constant, we will find. which is ten root five is this number here the multiplier is ten root five divided by ten so it's root five which is equal to still wrong fifty divided by 10 root 5 fantastic so 50 divided by 10 root 5 is 5 divided by root 5 which is root 5 because 5 is root 5 times root 5 and is the number which when multiplied to <coughs> each of these numbers in geometric sequence gives the next number so 10 times 5 is 10 root 5 first number second number 10 root 5 times 5 50 third number and this goes on so times root 5 would be the fourth number which is 50 root 5 which is kind of cool because our geometric sequence is now 10 and 10 root 5 50 50 root 5 it goes on yeah 250 because root 5 times 5 is 5 times 50 is 250 times root 5 250 root 5 so what I'm trying to talk about in the meantime of geometric mean is that in a sequence that is in geometric progression any number between two numbers just pick any yeah say we 
we write this one as the geometric mean of this number and this number. Let's pick any, let's find the next number times 5, 125, 0. Yeah, let's take these three numbers, part of the geometric sequence, and figure out, prove, yeah, that this number here is the geometric mean of this and this. Okay, so to do that, we take these two numbers and find the square root and that square root has to be equal to this we do one two five zero times two fifty square root which is let's get friendly numbers from this so we have 125 is 5 times 25 times 10 times 25 times 10 square root so square root of 25 is 5 square root of 25 is 5 there are two tens that come out as 110 and there is one 5 remaining here, so square root of 5. So we have 25 from here times 10, which is 250 root 5, and we have our answer. So beautiful, yeah. Mathematics is an art form. Wonderful pastime.